there is no free will and everything is being determined by genes and conditioning why it is right and uh, what do you mean by the will is there a will or how does it look like and you will need to go into the depths of your own mind what happens when you will you see before you can say it is free or not or before you can say everything is determined or done by me you will need to go into the mechanism of the will what is it most people do not ask this question they they assume that i know what is will i know what is willing it is only word for many people isn't it now i am taking you one step deeper i could have given you the answer but i i told you the i gave you the warning in the beginning it's not going to be satisfactory humans don't like this thing there is a kind of what you say resistance in the mind about its own nature therefore it has to be seen you cannot simply tell them look there is the uh, no will there go home now this is not going to be satisfactory so what i'll do i'll take you in the mind and check the action of willing you can do it right now also will something and pay attention what happens for example i am now willing to drink a little bit of water it is my free will <laughs> it looks like it look it looks like that there this desire appeared in my mind because i wanted it to appear check my statement now i can go ahead and drink the water that is you know external action that we are not concerned about that the willing has happened after that it is totally determined the will will travel through the nervous system to the body and in the world and the action will happen that is not the issue here the issue is you will need to look at my statement that the desire to drink water appeared in my mind because i wanted it to appear this is what i mean by willing just a simple example you can take any example you want you see please see this this is the key i am giving you when the will appears there is a thought in the mind that it has appeared because i wanted it to appear i made it appear look at this sentence again it has the word want what is want another desire i desired for this desire to appear now if there is the wanting behind every desire not every let us say a few desires the, the conscious free willed desires then it you know begs the question there is a necessity now for this wanting to have a wanting what caused this desire to want me to have this desire now probably it is already very difficult for you so uh, let us go back to the question again what has made this desire to drink water appear and you can say there will be a thought in the mind i wanted this to appear that is my free will now what wanted this desire to be there and now you go to infinite regression which is a sign in the philosophy we say it is a sign when something goes like this forever <laughs> why 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 and what is the cause of it is a sign that we are on the wrong track it is a sign that it, this is not true you see like for example the, uh, the the first question i took the need of a creator if something needs to be uh, there only because of a creator that the creator needs to be there because of another creator and it will go to infinite regression so what we do we discard the whole idea we say this idea does not apply here so whatever happens in the mind there is a cause but you will never find the cause what what is causing the desire is not an entity called you the thought is like this you know i wanted this now if you go in the depths of wanting then you will get to the infinite regress then you now examine the i word the i thought the i also appears as a thought something happens in the mind and a process also arises with it which says that i did it because the mind needs to keep track of the, the actions happening through this organism and the actions not happening through this organism it divides the actions like this why does it want 
to keep track of these things is survival you see this organism the mind of this organism needs to know what it is doing needs to know what is happening in here so everything that happens through this body everything ha- that happens through this mind and speech is owned and you know uh, stamped as i this is what you call as i or in sanskrit the aham and note the difference between the self and the i self is not the i the self or the consciousness is a witness of all this activity you can witness it right now you see you do, do the action of willing and the self is witnessing it and the we say after this analysis with direct seeing you see if you remove all your conditioning all your ignorance about this simply by direct seeing directly seeing how your mind up, uh, acts and checking the the meanings of the words that it uses to form thoughts you can disintegrate this whole thing you know destroy this whole illusion of a doer and an i and willing and a, and a wish to will a want to will and so on this you will find this simply a loop which refers to itself again and again and this goes on in the mind this is the this is the waking state of the mind you see so what we do is we disregard this thought so here also we say that the willing and the i they do not mix do not say like this that my actions are willed because you won't find any meaning there now for the ego or the ahankar this is very dissatisfactory answer because it will fall back into its i thought no no i am doing it i am very very sure that i am doing it look i picked up the glass and i had a sip of water it happened because of my will <laughs> so it is very tricky you will need to go back to your self again and again and again you will go need to go back to the direct seeing again and again and again and then you can dismantle this illusion of the doer and you will see that the other answer is uh, that action is happening isn't it you cannot say that nobody is doing it so no action is happening no the action is happening so what is the other alternative it is happening because of the programming of the mind which is the memory of the mind and whatever is happening through the body is the conditioning of the body which is genetic conditioning Ge- what is genetic conditioning it is a, also a memory memory of the lower layers of the mind it is memory of the mother nature it is being conserved in the form of genetic material and it expresses again and again and again in various life forms so again a memory there so the higher layers have their own memory and that is happening that is what we call as the jeev so it attaches itself to the form uh, because the first option has failed you have the second option and check that it is not being done it is always happening uh, you will find something very important here that the maya appears that's all it is an appearance nothing is happening there everything is appearing then the mind comes in the picture and connects all the dots isn't it why is there a plant well, somebody has planted a seed and then you know it makes a story out of these appearances a logical sounding story and whatever happens through this body this organism this jeev you see differentiate between the self and the jeev jeev means the sum total of the human mind you see whatever that is taking births whatever that is dying so whatever is happening through this part of the maya this is all maya this body and jeev so it will again create a story and you know very logical story perfectly logical because this helps in survival if you don't create this story well survival is you know gone it will be a dysfunctional mind so this illusion is a necessity the illusion of free will is necessary for the organism to function in this relative reality the transactional world otherwise it will fail it will you know this organism will not survive so it has evolved like this it in the human beings in the, it has evolved so much that there is a ego now and it is actually controlling there is a illusion of control also it controls itself you can say for example if you make a robot 
looks like it is controlling itself it it wants to walk through the uh, door does not want to bump in the wall and so on and uh, but what is behind the robot there is a program there is a memory it is simply executing that and if you make it complicated enough it will look like as if the robot has a mind of his own and we will start calling that thing as a living being you can see in the nature the insects and the tiny animals they are almost robots you see they are forms of the same consciousness but they are memories memories of some kind so we know this important characteristic of the maya that it simply appears and the mind will make the connections in what is appearing this is another layer of illusion on what is already an illusion so then do i have no will at all this whatever i is you see the ego has no will that is that is kind of certain the ego itself is a program is very sophisticated that's all right now whatever you are hearing whatever this thing is saying is already all programmed you see coming from the memory is there no will at all now let me twist your mind a little bit <laughs> there is a will it is only one action look at your awareness the awareness is the is the action of the mind where it you know realizes that there is a consciousness behind all that appears this is the awareness this is the highest layer in the human mind when you shift to awareness this does not come from the memory when you are in the awareness this does not come from the memory there is no programming in the mind that will show you that look there is a consciousness no programming now i leave it as an exercise for you this is the greatest sadhana in the, in the practice in this world in maya you will need to use the words belonging to the maya nothing wrong there please do not mix the absolute with the relative that is what people do and then they get confused oh he said there is no free will but i am doing everything in you say our society is based on free will if i kill somebody is is i cannot say that <laughs> it is happening it is maya it is no you will be given punishment don't give up your free will just because you know that there is no such thing you will need to use it just like we are using this body although we know that it is also an appearance it also appears we still use it <laughs> we, do not, we do not you know kill the body that is not the proper way to get liberated in the maya do not act from the absolute in the absolute do not act from maya 